Hello Capricorns, welcome to the Spiritual Centre. I'm Sonia Parker and here is your Capricorn October 2020 Tarot Reading. I do hope you're all well, thank you for joining me. Um, now this month I'm doing a different style of reading again. Um, each of the suits of the tarot I've put into separate order and also the Major Arcana. Um, the decks that I'm using this month are the Wisdom of the Golden Path Oracle Deck by Tony Carmine Salerno and the tarot is the Smith Waite Tarot Deck. Okay, as always, I have pulled a card for the overall energy and then I'll pull a card for each of the tarot suits and also one from the Major Arcana which is a message from your higher self, from spirit, or from universal consciousness, depending on your beliefs. So the card that we have for the overall energy is unconditional love. I love this card. I love the colours in this card. And I love what this card represents. It's beautiful. So there's a little saying that goes with this card. Knowing others is wisdom and knowing yourself is enlightenment so every single person that we encounter and every single conversation that we have there is a reason for it we learn something from it now whether it teaches us something about another person or whether it teaches us something about ourselves there are people that we are like we like instantly and there are also people that we are drawn to and there's similarly there's people that we don't like and as soon as we walk into a room, we can pick up on their energy. There's something about them that says, you know, I'm not really connecting to you. So think about the power that you have when you walk into a room to know instantly whether you like or dislike someone. Now, life has a perfect way of giving us the lessons we need and meeting the people that we need at that point in time. Always, always, it's time, place and circumstance. And all of the time, this is teaching us how to love. Now, if we refuse to see that, we will get the same opportunities until we do see it for what it is. So understanding life, understanding love is why we are here. Always to teach us to accept and to understand and to love unconditionally. How beautiful is that message for you, Capricorns? Unconditional love. Okay, so let's see where you are right here, right now. What place are you at? And you have the King of Pentacles. So you're the King on the throne. The King of Pentacles, you are... Hmm, totally good at what you do it's almost as though you've done everything you need to do to be where you are right here right now um you've got the castle you've got the it's nothing physical that you need whatever's lacking in your life it's not to do with the physical world it's to do with some kind of spiritual connection or i mean this could well be that this is an earth sign male that's around you as well and i think also I always feel here that sometimes when I pull the court cards, I get joined by somebody from spirit. And right now I have a gentleman in the spirit world who would have been a father figure to somebody who's listening to this reading, a father figure who would have built his kingdom. And it's almost as though you would have inherited this kingdom or you would have liked to have inherited this kingdom. It's almost as though maybe you haven't, something went wrong with an inheritance, I feel. Um, but this man does have a beard. This man has a beard. But it's almost as though he, he's, he's, he's egging you on. Go on, girl. Go on. Keep at it. Because um, I don't feel that he would have had it easy in an early, uh, in his early life. It's, it's like he worked hard for what he achieved. And he did achieve a lot. He did achieve a lot. Okay. So let's have a look at your thoughts for the month ahead. And we have the Nine of Swords. Now, if we look at the picture, they're sitting in bed, 
head in their hands, all these swords are on the walls, but none of these swords have points on them. And if you're learning tarot or or think about learning tarot, then you know it's important to look at the symbols that are in the cards. Now, if the swords were had points, they could hurt, but a blunt sword isn't going to hurt you. So all these worries and all these thoughts, all these sleepless nights, they can't cause you any harm. It's not like, um, I don't want to say worrying about nothing because I don't feel that's, that's the point. But it's almost as though you're the only person that's hurting from worrying like you do. Okay, emotions this month. And we have the nine. So two nines. The nine of cups. Again, it screams unconditional love, self-love. Being content with who you are. Looking in the mirror and saying, I love you every single morning. This is about you loving you for who you are and everything that you have achieved. With the help of a man in the spirit world, I might add. They seem to be knock, knock, knocking on the door. I don't know if they're showing you signs that they're around you or whether they're actually guiding you and you're aware of it. There's definitely a gentleman in spirit who's knock, knock, knocking on your door. Okay, so let's see your final outcome for October with the wands and we have the seven. Now, I always used to see this card as... Uh, uh, it's funny how th things change. I've been learning tarot for many, many years and teaching tarot for many, many years. It was only recently that I've come across some different meanings of the cards that actually really resonate. If you look at all the ones that have been laid down, he's got a frantic look on his face, but actually he's standing up high. So this is This is you on higher ground. This is you above everything else. Um... And when I say on higher ground, I always feel that you're not going to let any anybody else's drama affect you. You're not going to let any situations affect you like they are right here, right now. It's almost as though you're going, you're going forward. And actually, you get to this point and you're saying, ah, that's not going to happen anymore. No, I'm not going to let that affect me anymore. Okay, so the last card that we have for you, Capricorns, is a major arcana, a message from... He has come out so many times this month. It's either the strength card or the world. So there she stands with her hand inside a lion's mouth. Something you wouldn't normally do. So the strength card is about having patience. It's about having courage. It's about having courage to step outside of your comfort zone. Um... not getting caught up in other people's drama which was just really this is what your higher self has got to say to you do not get caught up in the drama of other people do not get involved stand back sometimes it's easy to say something or you really want to say something to someone but actually the bigger person stands back and just lets them believe what they want to believe at the end of the day sometimes you're never ever going to change someone's um beliefs or thoughts about a situation or something that's gone on so you don't need to explain yourself or validate yourself. This is you saying, okay, you believe what you like. What you think of me is none of my business. Think what you want. I'm stepping back. So it's almost this powerful spiritual force this month that is guiding you as well. I want another card from the major to clarify this one. And it is the card of transformation. And I feel this transformation is coming through from spirit. It's the card of new beginnings. It's almost as though the sun is rising in the background. And I feel that... I almost feel like a shedding of the skin. It's this to do with these thoughts and these fears. It's almost as though you're going to shed your skin. I'm getting the 17th of October as a date to be important for you as well. I well, bless you for watching. I hope you have a fantastic October. If the reading resonates with you, please let me know in the comments. 
please like and share and please subscribe to the channel. Um, I do give away a free personal reading every month. And if you'd like to win that, then pop over to my website, thespiritualcentre.net and join the newsletter. And it, once a month, someone will win a free reading. Also, we're just about to start a new series of spiritual development classes on a Wednesday evening on Zoom. So if you'd like to develop your spiritual awareness, then pop over to the website because all the information is on my homepage. Bless you for watching. Have a lovely October.